What's going on guys and welcome back to Touchdowns to Home Runs. My name is Bernie. Thank you for joining us today on the Touchdowns to Home Runs post game show. I hope that your day is going absolutely fantastic. We have a final score from this week's matchup between the Penn State Nittany Lions and the Michigan Wolverines. Penn State will take this one by a final score of 27 to 17. Now this game, I said it in the preview, was a little anticlimactic because I think a lot of people coming into the season thought this could be a potential matchup between two top 10 opponents. But obviously the way that each of these two teams have played, this game was far from that. Penn State with the win though now improves to 1-5. and five. This is their first win of the season. Michigan with two games left in their season now falls to 2-4, and four, which means that this year will be a losing season assuming that we lose to Ohio State. Before we get into the box score, I just want to give my opinion on the game. I mean, it's a lot of the same stories. And again, it starts with Jim Harbaugh. And Jim Harbaugh has to be fired. I cannot stress, you know, how bad Michigan has played this season. And you can tell from watching the games... But looking back at it statistically, this has been just a brutal season. This is now seven straight games where Michigan has been down at least 7 nothing. They uh, gave Penn State their first opening drive touchdown of the season, their first halftime lead of the season, and also their first win of the season. Something has to change. I think it starts with Jim Harbaugh and the way that he runs the offense, the defense, the team as a whole. Before we get into more about Jim Harbaugh, though, and the box score, make sure to cop your Fire Jim Harbaugh merch. We got sweaters. We got the t-shirts. They look really good. They're fantastic quality. Make sure you buy those to rep and make sure that we let people know that we want Jim Harbaugh fired. Make sure to cop your Jim Harbaugh merch. Links for those will be down in the description. You got to go to our store. Link in the description. Make sure to check those out. But again... Poor coaching decisions from Jim Harbaugh. And I think that some of the, you know, I think there's particular plays that really showcase this. A.J. Henning in the third quarter, I think it was, made an absolutely fantastic catch. And I've been saying it all year. I want to see more Henning. I want to see more Henning because this guy is, you know, one of our future top wide receivers. And he makes a fantastic play. And the next play, right away, we take him out. And I don't really understand that because... You know, we have injuries all over the field, including our wide receiver core. And Henning is somebody that we could definitely use with his speed. And especially when, you know, we need those plays downfield that we definitely could have used over the course of this game. I thought the play calling in general, especially from an offensive standpoint, was not great at all. We didn't really take a lot of shots downfield except for the Henning play. And that's why I don't understand, again, why we took Henning out. But our running game was doing well, but we sort of just threw that in the garbage because our passing game was no threat. And even if, you know, we don't complete the passes downfield, we got to take those shots downfield to at least spread out the secondary. And we were just unable to do that. In terms of the defense, I mean, we were all right. I know we had a bunch of injuries, McGrone, Brad Hawkins, but you know what? For all those injuries, they actually played pretty well. I thought that the difference in this game, at least defensively for the Wolverines, was the missed tackles. But I think credit to especially the running game for the Nittany Lions, especially with them playing the freshmen today. You know, credit for them making Michigan's got a secondary miss, getting those extra yards and making plays for the Nittany Lions. So credit to them in that sense. Let's flip over to the box score now. Let's start with Michigan. Kate McNamara, 12 for 25, 91 yards, no touchdowns in the air. It was a tough day. I mean, McNamara, yeah, he had the injury in the second quarter, the, the shoulder injury. But honestly, it didn't look like it affected him that much. And I don't know if that's why they didn't take shots downfield. But it looked, you know, on the short passes, he was still putting some velocity behind his throws. So I'm not sure exactly what the deal was, but I think, again... We had high expectations after the Rutgers game, especially after the second half, hoping that at least the offense could figure it out. Not really the case today. Joe Milton had three pass attempts. He wasn't great. He had his one completion for 21 yards. But again, we saw the inaccuracy. And again, you know, I just think Joe Milton has the higher ceiling because he's got that arm strength and because he has the mobility. 
I think it'll be curious to see who Michigan goes with at the quarterback position next week. I do expect it to still be Cade McNamara, but I do think there's a chance. I know we didn't find out who the quarterback was today until game time, but I think McNamara, should he be healthy and no issues with the shoulder, I expect him to be the quarterback again next week. Michigan's running game. This was their best game of the season. I was really, really impressed. Haskins was fantastic. 17 rushes, 101 yards. He had two touchdowns on the ground. He led the way for them rushing, but there was also Evans, who had 35 yards, Corum, 27 yards. They had a really nice mix between those three guys, something we haven't seen this year, at least since, you know, the early part of the season. And it would be nice if they got the passing game working with it too to have that balanced offense to show how talented this offense can really be when everybody's clicking. But you know what? That's some positive signs, and I love those guys um, in our running game. I love Haskins, Evans, Corum. So credit to those guys for figuring it out today. And credit to the offensive line as well um, for figuring it out. The blocking was a lot better today. So some positives there. Ronnie Bell was the leader in terms of receiving. He had four receptions, 40 yards. Henning was also up there with 31 yards. He, as I said, had an absolutely fantastic catch. And I hope that that's, you know, a sign for what we're going to get from him in the future, I expect him to be one of, if not our top receiver next year or um, in a couple years down in the line. This kid's extremely talented. And then Cornelius Johnson, two receptions, 15 yards. So not too much going in terms of the receiving game or the passing game, but hopefully Michigan can figure it out. Defensively, uh, again, I thought there were some improvements. Michigan was able to play without penalties today, which is something we haven't really seen a lot this season. But for the amount of injuries they had, I thought besides missed tackles on a few big plays, you know, guys like Ross, guys like Green, Barrett, e even Daxton Hill, who wasn't fantastic last week, all these guys stepped up, made some big plays, and I take that as a positive away from this game. In terms of Penn State, Sean Clifford was pretty solid. He got shaken up on a tackle. In the first half, he ended up passing 17 for 28, 163 yards. But it was what he did on the ground that really solidified this for Penn State. Nine rushes, 73 yards. He had the touchdown on the ground. Had some massive plays and some big moments as well. And, you know, they were talking about how Clifford is better with his arm. But you know what? He, he's a smart player when he doesn't turn the ball over. And he showed that today with how he extended plays and how he made plays of his own using his feet. Lee led, the way, Lee led the way for Penn State in terms of their rushing game, 22 rushes, 134 yards. Uh, Penn State's offensive line, especially in the first half, demolished Michigan's defensive line. So credit to them, again, played freshmen in terms of their running game, but they figured out, you know, they, they figured out ways to find holes, extend plays, get those extra yards. And if you're looking at Penn State and the future of your run game with those two freshmen that played today, I mean, you guys look like you're in great hands. Washington led the way, 93 receiving yards, 9 receptions. I think all of those came in the first half. Lutz and Dotson also had 30 receiving yards of their own. Moving on to next week, the Michigan Wolverines will face Maryland who goes into next week's game with a 2-2 two and two record after their loss this week to the Indiana Hoosiers. Penn State will now play the Rutgers Scarlet Knights, who hold a 1-4 record. They play Purdue today, and Rutgers comes off their loss last week to the Michigan Wolverines in third OT. Before I end this video, I just want to leave with sort of one big question. Get the conversation started in the comment section below. Will this loss finally mean that Jim Harbaugh will be fired by the Michigan Wolverines? You know, it doesn't have to be today, but will Michigan fire Harbaugh sometime between now and the start of next season? There's a lot to consider here that's more than just the surface of how bad Jim Harbaugh has been, especially this season. You know, think about J.J. McCarthy and the recruits that are coming in next year. So get that conversation going down in the comment section below. Anyways, guys, if you did make it to this point in the video, thank you. Remember, go into the store, go into the comment section below, into the description below. Make sure to cop that Fire Harbaugh merch. Great quality, great design. Make sure that you're repping it. Also, if you like today's video, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to Touchdowns to Home Runs, and let me hear your thoughts on this game and Michigan season as an entirety down in the comment section below. Let's get a conversation going. Anyways, guys, if you made it to this point in the video, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to tune in with us again, and we'll see you guys next time.